Now, even though the seating position is a little bit unconventional, one lovely thing about this is there's a massive amount of headroom, particularly for special occasions, because you've got room for a top hat. Even a stovepipe would fit in here. Wonderful. <laughs> that is a dreadful noise. I'm quite glad, actually, driving with the back door open. It's all right, it's quite nice, get some air going on. Oh, that noise is getting worse. I have a funny feeling something might explode any second, but anyway, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> but it's just bags of fun, it really is. You can kind of dart backwards and forwards. I mean, it's so responsive, it's wonderful. I don't think it would take much to get a couple of wheels off the ground, but then of course you'd end up potentially rolling it and that wouldn't be quite so much fun. So if I actually let go of the steering, like that, it just literally <laughs> goes straight into the middle of a field, which is obviously not ideal. Now the thing is, I know it's not the tyre pressures, they're all okay, so then it means it's probably something to do with the steering or the geometry of the suspension. Now the steering is adjustable because you can move the track rod ends, but the rest of the suspension is pretty much fixed at the factory, so it could be quite a difficult thing to solve. Now my Outspan Orange is fantastic fun to drive, and because it's based on a classic Mini, it's actually relatively easy to work on. But because it's based on a classic Mini, not everything works all of the time. <laughs> that really isn't quite the right colour for coolant, to be honest. It looks like it's just been water left without any coolant for a long time and it's just kind of rotting. It smells disgusting, it's got to be said, but uh, I think some fresh coolant when all this job is done won't go amiss. So, so far it's a bit of a mystery as to exactly why this car might be misbehaving. Although, <laughs> I may have found something. Now just looking at the caster angle of the front suspension. Basically, if you look at that top ball joint and the bottom ball joint and the kind of line described between the two, this one is kind of at that sort of angle. And this one is at that sort of angle. So effectively, the top ball joint is further forward on this side than the bottom. So you've got this angle. So that's as if it's got a reverse caster, whereas this side is actually pretty normal. So that's actually got a kind of forwards facing caster, if you like. So essentially what's going on here at the moment is this side of the car is going forward, this side of the car thinks it's going backwards. So no wonder it's got some issues trying to go straight ahead. quite a lovely moment. This is the first time I've got to drive my Outspan Orange since getting rid of that horrible screeching water pump and it really is bliss. Just listen to that smooth purring from the engine bay rather than that kind of banshee noise. So that's wonderful. But the other thing of course I now have the peace of mind that I can plug in all my electrical gadgets, all that extra juice from the new alternator. But the main test, just get around this little bend here, the main test of course is what happens when I let go of the steering wheel. Am I going to get flung into a field? Well here goes. Oh, look at that! <laughs> and I'm just wafting along nicely. The camber of the road is ever so slightly tipping me to one side or the other, but I'm not stranded in the field having embarrassed myself, which is the main thing. So, job well done. is really lovely. So that means we now have 22 degrees at 5,000 RPM with the vacuum hose off. And that means our ignition timing is spot on. Oh, yes! 
Oh, it's accelerating beautifully. There is no flat spot. That is wonderful. So, our orange will go to the ball. Only thing is, I think I need to change. Maybe something a bit more appropriate for a special occasion. Perhaps something from the 70s. Well, that's much more like it. Right, next stop, Buckingham Palace. Thanks for stopping by the workshop. If you enjoyed the video even just a little bit, then click like. If you hated it, well then click like three times. Also, remember to leave your thoughts and your questions in the comments. And obviously, we'd love to see you again soon, so please remember to click subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell for notifications of when the next video is published, or when I have some intriguing news.